Of Gaston, we've got Stuart, we've finalised with Stuart Castle, Dine, Steve Davis, Ewan Thomas and Mike Smith. Get your calls rolling in for them. Meanwhile, Tom has got some very fit-looking folks over in the scene, Doc. Tom. Uh, this is uh, Paul Connolly, who's uh, a box aerobics expert, yeah? That's right. Not only do you take classes, but you take classes of teachers to teach people box aerobics. That's right, teach the teachers to teach the classes, yeah. That's All right, right. now, um, f at first glance, what sort of exercises boxers do to train to box? So how does it differ from that? The only thing we do is we modify a lot of the exercises so that, right. that everyone can do the exercises because some of the exercises would be too hard for most people yeah. to do. So we modify a lot of the exercises so that everyone can do it. Right. So what we've got there is we've got them working individually here, but when they're actually doing your, your classes and, and, and learning box, they're, they're in pairs of two, don't they? That's right. We partner up right. into pairs of twos. Not always doing the same thing as their partner. Sometimes right. they're doing different exercises. But what happens is they just swap over on the second side. Yeah. What we've done, we've taken the most exciting looking aspects of what you do. Um, just, and we've put it on the telly because that's what we like. But there's a lot of stuff going on that we don't actually see here, isn't there? Like that's right. warming up and everything. That's quite important. Yeah? It's always a good warm up, always a good cool down. Right. There's lots of different stuff going on. Cardiovascular blast, yeah. hit different body parts. What's a cardiovascular blast? Well, a lot of people can cop out on the circuit, can work right. at their own pace. Yeah. So in the, we, we have blasts in between right. circuits so that people who are taking, yeah. taking rests, we, we make sure they yeah. work in between the circuits. Right. It's all very... It's just one of the stuff we can look at like this. See. <laughs> Do you want to take us through? We've got... Um, is it Claire skipping over here? Uh, this is Natalie. Oh, sorry, Natalie. Sorry, Natalie. Mm -hmm. I thought you were Claire. What's she up to? Basically, skipping is very good for the very good for the coordination. It's also yeah. very good for uh, reflexes, time. Yeah. Very cardiovascular demanding. So right. it works the heart and lungs. Heart and vascular, heart and lungs. That's the most important exercise you can do, isn't it? it well, yeah. But it was developed by boxers years ago when it right. the weather was too inclement to go outside and and run and stuff. And the aerobics part of box aerobics that is the cardiovascular aspect. There's lots of body right. sculpting as well, and there's lots of groundwork. There's lots of different stuff going on. Right. Natalie is playing here with the washing line. She's, she's yeah. lost her washing. No, that was Natalie. This is Claire. That was Natalie. This is Claire. I understand yeah. that. <laughs> I'm starting to see. Yeah, when young boxers start, they, 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 they haven't got very good head movement. This, this teaches them to move their head. Yeah. She's throwing up her cuts and crosses and working up and down the rope. All right. Okay, so basically, it's, it's, you know, it's, again, it's a fat burner. It's, it's, it's lots of hard work. How, how's this one helping Joe Public? Basically, just again to, to burn the fat, and it's just a fat burner, right. basically. Okay, and then over here we got Leah. A name I got right. This is Leah. What's happening with Leah there? Again, this is pad work. Right. I people, understand. People can't just walk into a class and do the class. They have to do what's no. called an induction. Yeah. Where they're taught the basics of boxing. I'm out to strap and tape their hands up. All right. They're taught basic jab cross combinations of different yeah. types of combinations. So obviously there's a skill factor in the class as well, because yeah, it's a sport specific class. Right. Is it, what's this helping there with her lungs? Giving a big Again, strong lungs? Again, it's cardiovascular, but it's also right. body conditioning. Yeah. Which is, you know, which is toned. Yeah, there's lots, lots of conditioning right. work going on as Paul, well. Paul, we're going to chat to you later, because I know you've trained some big stars from the States. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, back to Dan. Well, actually not. Oh, OK, well, I'll Thank see you, you later. <laughs> Gazza, too much is being made of Gazza's insults to the Celtic fans. His contain enough cells to know how to insult people. I think Steve Davis is great, right? Uh, Jimmy Nymph. And finally, Will Carling. Don't quit, Will. You're already a legend, um, but your flair's too bright to burn out. Put the wind of 57 farts into your cells and stick with... OK, um, we'll, we'll move on now. We've got some men in black coming next, which is different from black men, so John Motson will be able to tell them apart. That's singing for you now. All right, Tom, I've got it wrong every time so far. I think you're in the facts area. That's right, I'm in the oh. facts area this time. Connolly, I'm going to talk to him in a minute about show business. Oh, yes. But I've got to read this facts out to you first. It says, read this out, you bastard, otherwise you're being racist to the Welsh. Right, racialist. Not only is they putting a PC pressure on me to read out his facts, he then goes on to say, have any of your viewers got a In brackets, no Arabs. So not only is he forcing me to read out his facts by accusing me of being racist, he then goes on to be racialist. Uh, who's it from? You know, I'm not even going to read out his name because he's a bad lad. Don't put any... We'll read out the best facts, it's not the ones that we're forced to read. Paul, we've already read the uh, box aerobics, right? We've established that it's good for fat burning <laughs> on several occasions, right, during the first piece. But um, there's a showbiz element too. I mean, you were out in L.A. Um, with Al McPherson and all that business, weren't you? Mm. Well, it originated in, in LA, this type of class. Right. 
boxing circuit, mm. and then the ladies got involved, and that's how. Well, it's called boxing. That's like all your managing directors knocking seven bells. That that's right. Yeah. Mickey Rourke was one of the main promoters of it in the right, States. Hey, let me just pick that name up you just dropped. There you go. <laughs> you used to work for him, didn't you? That's right, yeah. So you were like his... Yeah. You worked in... What, he, had a, is it, he had a gym and... He's got a you... VIP gym out in LA. Right. Yeah, and I used to work out there. Training most of the stars. Like right. Michelle Pfeiffer, people like that. So, well, Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Who else? Elmer Ferson. Right. Um, Paul the Yates. <laughs> yeah. And boxers too, yeah? Yeah. And it, there's a big pile of names there, just in between your feet now. <laughs> so, as a result, you, I mean, do you train them personally? Do you train them for films as well, or just...? Yeah, I've, I've trained stars to put weight on them and take right. weight off. And you had to put some weight on Al McPherson? Yeah. I'd like to put weight on Al McPherson. <laughs> my 11 stone turn. But, um... 21 Al, pound. You put a 21 pound on her. Right, yeah. and but then you had to get it off at... Is that right? For a modelling contract, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and as a result of that, you got the lead making the video for Boxer Over. That's right up and down the country and just right. train, train instructors Fantastic. and uh, supply and design and fit studios. Yeah, why do you think, just before we leave it, why do you think it's so popular with the stars? Well, on a one-to-one -one basis, it really does. It, there's, not a, there, there's nothing better for body conditioning. Right. So no. it gives you longer, leaner muscles, yeah. great stress relief. Yeah. It gives you more confidence. And it, right. Obviously, there's a self-defence aspect. And I understand it's great for fat burning. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Dan. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tom. Then. Well, well, All right, we need, we, we need to go back to the scene, Doctor. Well, Tom, you're up to something. Hi, Dan. I'm just helping uh, Leanne here with uh, with her exercises. It's, it's cardiovascular. It's very good for her lungs. Okay, stop there. Stop there. Um, Paul, what, this is most. This is very interesting. It's like that, but lying down and. Established. This is good for burning fat. Yeah. No, this isn't actually. This oh, really? is, is an abdominal exercise. How does this work? It's then? called punch crunch. Punch crunch. Yeah, what she's doing is she's flexing her abdominals as she's letting the shots go into the pads. Right. But she's having to pull herself up with her hip flexors and flex yeah. her abdominals. It's anterior, all round the sides, yeah. the obliques, because she's having to reach over. Yeah. It's a very, very demanding exercise. You've got a really good abdominal section to, to work this. Carl, do you want a quick look at this one over here with a medicine ball going on? What, what is that? Again, that's, a, that's an abdominal. Yeah. What, what Claire's doing is catching the ball, pulling it back into abdominals right. and throwing it back. But it's, 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 again, it's a toner and a shaper. We're going to have to, look, we're gonna have to come clean. I mean, normally this is done with a medicine ball. A lot yeah. of boxers will be watching going, they're faking it, aren't yeah. they? We've forgotten our medicine ball. You you We've forgotten our medicine, medicine ball. No. You chuck it in. It's not, it's not a medicine <laughs> ball, is it? <laughs> That's clearly not one. That's part of a floor-to-ceiling ball. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we, we didn't have one in the stores. But anyway, that's, so that's it. And, and this is all—I mean, this is all part of a box aerobics. Yeah. Which, uh, exercise you aerobically, but tones your body. Body conditioning. Self, conditions your body. Yeah. Longer, leaner muscles. Right. Self-defense. Full body conditioner. It makes you hard. Makes you very it's big hard. Big in America. Yeah. Very Back big. Thanks, you, Dan. Yeah, full body. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that, Tom. Um, it's all going very well when we're watching those. Stuart Castle Diners asked me to point out that he used to do a bit of boxing himself and he has his gum shield with him. Oh. So maybe in the last 15 minutes of the show we could see him doing a little bit of the old boxer sizing over in the website. Tommy. Oh, hi there. So I'm chatting to. Can I, we'll buy you off. She's uh, in the top 10 in the country, the fittest top 10 women. Yeah. I mean, actually, not like the fittest top 10 women, you know. And I've just been uh, on the fax machine. That's great. Oh, hi again. Hi. Yay. Yay. 0171 222 is the number to fax us on. So, very sneakily, we'll be sneaking off to his fur lined hammock. In a sneaky way. Which just leaves me time to thank all of tonight's guests Stuart Castledine, Steve Davis, Ewan Thomas, Mike Smith, Paul Connolly, and of course our cheerleaders. Yeah. Right. And don't forget, you can write to us, thank you.